The Bangladesh national cricket team Bengali, Banladesa Jatiya Krikita Dala nicknamed the Tigers, is administered by the Bangladesh Cricket Board BCB. Bangladesh is a full member of the International Cricket Council ICC with Test and One Day International ODI status. It played its first Test match in November 2000 against India in Dhaka, becoming the 10th Test playing nation. Bangladesh's first official foray into international cricket came in the 1979 ICC Trophy in England. On 31 March 1986, Bangladesh played its first ODI match, against Pakistan in the Asia Cup. For a long time, football was the most popular sport in Bangladesh, but cricket gradually became very popular, particularly in urban areas, and by the late 1990s had surpassed football. In 1997, Bangladesh won the ICC Trophy in Malaysia and thus qualified for its first Cricket World Cup to participate in England in 1999. There, it defeated Pakistan, causing much upset, and also Scotland. On 26 June 2000, Bangladesh was granted full ICC membership. Bangladesh holds the record for most consecutive losses in tests 21, between 2000 and 2002 and Otis 23, between 2001 and 2004. After gaining full member status with the ICC, Bangladesh had to wait until 2004 for its first ODI win since the 1999 World Cup. The team on the losing side on that occasion was Zimbabwe, who also participated in Bangladesh's maiden test victory in 2005. By securing a draw in the second match, Bangladesh won their first test series. In 2009 Bangladesh toured the West Indies for two tests and by winning both secured their first overseas test series victory. As of 28 July 2018, Bangladesh has played 108 tests, winning 10. Its first victory was against Team Zimbabwe, and the next two came against the West Indian team. Results have improved predominantly at home with draws earned against New Zealand, Pakistan, India and South Africa and wins against England, Sri Lanka and Australia. They played their 100th test when they toured Sri Lanka in March 2017. The team has been more successful in Otis, having won 117 of its 353 matches. It has also played 82 2020 internationals, winning 25. Bangladesh is currently ranked 9th in Tests, 7th in Otis, and 10th in T20 is by the ICC. Topic: History. Topic: 20th century. Several East Pakistan-based sides played in Pakistani domestic cricket prior to Bangladesh's declaration of independence of 1971. The East Pakistan cricket team fielded three players who later played ICC trophy matches. In 1977, Bangladesh became an associate member of the International Cricket Council Bangladesh was one of 15 teams to take part in the inaugural ICC trophy. Held in 1979, it gave non-test playing countries the opportunity to qualify for that year's World Cup. Bangladesh, under the captaincy of Rakibul Hassan, won two matches and lost two, but failed to progress beyond the first round. Victory in the Southeast Asian Cricket Conference Tournament in February 1984 ensured Bangladesh qualified for the 1986 Asia Cup. On 31 March 1986, Bangladesh played their first one-day international against a full member of the ICC. Captained by Ghazi Ashraf, Bangladesh were dismissed for 94 and Pakistan reached their target for victory with seven wickets in hand. They lost their second ODI, which was against Sri Lanka, finishing last in the three-team tournament. Bangladesh qualified for the 1988 Asia Cup, this time hosting the tournament. It was the first time Otis had been staged in the country. Although they lost all their matches, Bangladesh's fixtures were retrospectively awarded ODI. Floods in the preceding months meant the tournament was in doubt, but it went ahead as planned. A charity match raised $70,000 for the flood victims. Bangladesh took part in the 1990 Austral Asia Cup, the Asia Cup in 1990 91, 1995, 1997, and several other triangular tournaments, but it was not until 1998 that they won their first ODI. Their 22 match losing streak since their first ODI was at the time a record. 
Bangladesh posted its first ODI win against Kenya, in India thanks largely to Mohamed Rafiq, who contributed a fiery 77 runs and took three wickets. Put on 137 for the first wicket with Athar Ali Khan. Athar's own contribution was 47. In October 1998, Bangladesh hosted but did not participate in the first ever ICC Knockout Trophy, which later became the ICC Champions Trophy, a knockout ODI tournament featuring all the test playing nations. Bangladesh took part in each of the 1979, 1982, 1986, 1990, and 1994 editions of the ICC Trophy, and won the trophy in 1997, in the process qualified for the 1999 World Cup. The then General Secretary of Bangladesh Cricket Board, Aminul Huq Moni took the initiative to install AstroTurf in Abahani Cricket Ground and Bangabandhu National Stadium, so that the local players had two full seasons to prepare on the type of pitch they would playing in ICC Trophy in 1997. Bangladesh also became a regular ICC member with the right to play Otis and started hosting bilateral and triangular ODI tournaments. Earlier, in February Dhaka hosted the third and final SAARC cricket tournament. Bangladesh played in its first World Cup in England in 1999 and recorded their first win in a World Cup match against Scotland. Later Bangladesh created an enormous upset by beating Pakistan by 62 runs in the group match at Northampton. Bangladesh made nine 223rds from its full 50 overs, and in reply, Pakistan could only manage 161 due to timely run-outs by wicket-keeper Khalid Mashud and some tight bowling by Khalid Mahmood, who took three 31sts from 10 overs. Mahmood was judged the man of the match. Bangladesh did not qualify for the Super 6 round due to defeats in three of its five matches. However, the win over Pakistan, who finished runners-up to Australia, helped Bangladesh to gain test playing status the following year. Bangladesh had sacked coach Gordon Greenwich, who had steered the team through the 1997 ICC Trophy and into the 1999 World Cup on the morning of the match. Former South Africa test cricketer Eddie Barlow became Bangladesh's coach in 1999. In preparation for becoming a test-playing country, Bangladesh established its own first-class competition in 1999-2000, although the matches were not given first-class status until the 2000-2001 season. The lack of an established first-class structure in the country until shortly before Bangladesh played its debut test has been cited as one of the reasons the side struggled to adapt to the longer format of the game. The West Indies toured Bangladesh in October, winning both matches in the ODI series. After suffering a stroke in April 2000, Barlow vacated the position of coach and Sarwar Imran was handed the coaching job. In May and June 2000, Bangladesh hosted the Asia Cup. Bangladesh lost all three of their matches and when playing Pakistan succumbed to what at the time was the heaviest defeat in Otis, a margin of 233 runs. Bangladesh participated in the 2000 ICC Knockout Trophy in October, their only match ended in defeat by England. First years as a test team 2000 On 13 November 2000, Bangladesh played their inaugural test match, hosting India in Dhaka. The first test run in the history of Bangladesh cricket came from the bat of Marib Hossein, who also scored the first ever ODI 100 by an individual player for Bangladesh in 1999. Captained by Namer Rahman, Bangladesh lost by nine wickets, although Wisden noted that they "...surpassed all expectations by matching their neighbours, and at times even enjoying the upper hand." Aminal Islam Bulbul scored 145 in the first innings, becoming the third person to have scored a century in their team's first test. Rahman took six wickets for 132 runs, the second best bowling figures in a country's maiden test. In March 2001, former Australian test cricketer Trevor Chappelle was appointed coach. The following month Bangladesh embarked on a tour of Zimbabwe to play two tests and three Otis, Zimbabwe, who at the time were ranked ninth out of the ten test teams, won all five matches. Bangladesh took part in the 2001-02 Asian Test Championship, the second and final time the championship was held and the first the team had been eligible to play in. They lost both their matches by an innings. Mohamed Ashraful made his debut in the series and became the youngest player to score a test century in his first match. 
In November, Bangladesh hosted Zimbabwe for two tests and three Otis. The opening test was curtailed by bad weather and ended in a draw. After losing their first five tests, it was the first time Bangladesh had avoided defeat. Zimbabwe won all the remaining matches. After the test series wicketkeeper Khalid Mashud replaced Rahman as captain. The following month Bangladesh journeyed to New Zealand for two test matches. Bangladesh's batsmen struggled in unfamiliar conditions and the team slumped to two innings defeats. In January 2002 Bangladesh lost two tests and three Otis at home against Pakistan. At this point, they had lost 10 of their first 11 tests, only South Africa had struggled as much in their introduction to test cricket, also losing 10 of their first 11 matches. Chappelle blamed Bangladesh's batsmen for the loss, saying, They commit the same mistakes again and again, and need to learn to apply themselves, to bat in sessions. In April, former Pakistan test cricketer Mohsen Kamal replaced Chappelle as coach. When Bangladesh toured Sri Lanka in July and August they were on the receiving end of Sri Lanka's largest margin of victory in test cricket, an innings and 196 runs. Bangladesh lost both tests and all three Otis on the tour, recording their 50th defeat in 53 Otis. Repeated poor performances prompted people to question whether Bangladesh had been granted test status too soon. Two defeats against Australia and New Zealand in pool matches knocked Bangladesh out of the 2002 ICC Champions Trophy. Test and ODI whitewashes followed in South Africa in October. Wisden noted that, time and again, came the mantra that Bangladesh would learn from the experience, that they could only improve by playing against the best, that there was genuine talent in the squad. But it wore thin. The final defeat set a record for most consecutive losses in Otis 23, beating the previous record, which was also held by Bangladesh. When the West Indies toured in November and December, Bangladesh lost both Test and two out of the three Otis, and one ended in no result. Bangladesh hit several new lows on the third day of the first test, their lowest innings total 87, their lowest match aggregate 226, and the biggest defeat in their 16 tests by an innings and 310 runs. South Africa hosted the 2003 World Cup in February and March. Bangladesh lost five of their six matches one ended in no result, including fixtures against Canada, who hadn't played international cricket since the 1979 World Cup, and Kenya, who eventually made the semi-finals of the tournament. In the aftermath of Bangladesh's World Cup campaign, Habibul Bashar replaced Khalid Mashud as captain, and Kamal was sacked as coach with DAV Whatmore taking over the role. What more was not able to begin the job immediately, so Sarwar Imran acted as interim coach during TV's Cup and South Africa's tour of Bangladesh in April and May. Bangladesh lost all four Otis by large margins and two tests by innings. <laughs> Under DAV Whatmore 2003 Bangladesh played seven more tests and eleven more Otis in 2003 against Australia, Pakistan and England, losing every single match. However, in September, Bangladesh came very close to its first test victory, when it lost to Pakistan by only one wicket. It was just the tenth time in test history that a team had lost by a single wicket. In series against Pakistan, Alec Kapali became the first Bangladesh player to take a hat-trick in Test cricket, dismissing Shabir Ahmed, Danish Kaneria, and Umar Ghul. When England toured Bangladesh October and November, Bangladesh's captain, Mahmood, was booed. Ahead of Bangladesh's tour of Zimbabwe in February and March the next year, he was dropped from the squad and batsman Habibul Bashar was granted the captaincy. At the time, Zimbabwe were without many of their senior players. Bangladesh lost the Test Series 1-0, and the ODI Series 2-1. The second test was drawn after three days of no play due to heavy rains and brought an end to their run of 21 consecutive defeats dating back to November 2001, a world record in Test cricket. The solitary ODI victory was Bangladesh's first international win since defeating Pakistan in the 1999 World Cup. Bangladesh's next matches were against the West Indies in May and June. Bangladesh lost the ODI Series 3-0 and the Test Series 1-0. By securing a hard-fought draw in the first match, Bangladesh managed to avoid defeat for just the third time in 29 tests. 
Bangladesh participated 2004 Asia Cup and 2004 ICC Champions Trophy winning only one match against Hong Kong. In the following months, Bangladesh suffered heavy defeats in tests and in Otis against touring New Zealand and India. However, in December, Bangladesh defeated India in its 100th ODI, this being only the third time that it had won against a test-playing nation. In January 2005, Zimbabwe toured Bangladesh for two tests and five Otis. The touring Zimbabwe side had suffered due to player disputes which in 2004 had led to the country's temporary suspension from test cricket. Of Zimbabwe's 16-man squad, only their captain had played more than nine tests. Bangladesh was the more experienced team. In the first match, Bangladesh secured their maiden victory in test cricket. Bangladesh's batsmen secured a draw in the second test by batting out the final five session after coach Dav Whatmore had opined that Zimbabwe will win, unless our batsmen do something special. In the match, which helped secure a historic first series victory for Bangladesh, Enamel Hack Jr. broke his own bowling record for best figures in an innings for Bangladesh by taking seven wickets for 95 runs, and secured the best figures in a match for Bangladesh, 12 wickets for 200 runs and captain Habibul Bashar hit half-centuries in both innings. In the ODI series that followed, Zimbabwe won the opening two contests, and Bangladesh won the final three to take the ODI series. After their maiden test victory, Bangladesh embarked on its first tour of England in May and June 2005. The team faced unfamiliar conditions and the batsmen struggled against seam bowling. Bangladesh lost both matches in the test series by an innings, the second test was the 22nd time it had happened in 38 tests. Pundits Mike Atherton and Richie Benno criticised the team's performances and suggested Bangladesh was not yet suited to test cricket. A triangular series with England and Australia followed. Bangladesh won just one match out of six, but their solitary victory was against an Australian side that at the time were world champions in what Wisden described as the biggest upset in one-day international history. Muhammad Ashraf Fool scored his first century in that match with a score of exactly 100, which was enough to take the team to victory and then played a blistering knock of 94 off 53 balls against England the following match. Bangladesh's next fixture was in Sri Lanka in September for two tests and three Otis. After the one-off victory against Australia in England, Bangladesh was a more confident team, however, Sri Lanka won all five matches by large margins. Captain Habibul Bashar lamented his side's defeat, describing it as the worst tour since I took over the captaincy. The home season of 2006 began with some optimism for Bangladesh, which registered its first ever win against Sri Lanka, in the second match of the ODI series. However Bangladesh lost both ODI and Test Series 2-1 and 2-0 respectively. At the end of March, Bangladesh played four Otis against Kenya, winning all. Then in April, Bangladesh came very close to beating Australia in a test match, taking a first innings lead of 158, and eventually losing by only three wickets. Bangladesh lost the second test by an innings and three Otis by huge margins. At the end of July, Bangladesh toured Zimbabwe as the ODI series' favourites but lost 3-2. In August, the team defeated Kenya in all three matches of a series. India hosted the 2006 ICC Champions Trophy in October and November. Bangladesh failed to progress beyond the group stages, losing two of their three matches. Their only victory came against Zimbabwe. Bangladesh won their inaugural T20I match against Zimbabwe in front of the home crowd and subsequently went on to whitewash the same opponent in the five-match ODI series. Bangladesh capped year 2006 with two more ODI victories over Scotland. That year, Shahrir Nafis became the first Bangladeshi to score over a thousand runs, which included three centuries, in a calendar year. While Mashraf Mortaza became the leading wicket taker in the world in Otis, staged in 2006 with 49 wickets, ahead of the World Cup, Bangladesh faced Zimbabwe in four Otis, and Bermuda and Canada won each of those matches. Bangladesh lost a single ODI to Zimbabwe. Australia, Bangladesh, India and Pakistan were the only teams to win both of their warm-up games. On 17 March, in their first match of the 2007 World Cup, hosted by the West Indies, Bangladesh secured a five-wicket win over India. The surprise result triggered late-night partying in Bangladesh despite government bans on public gatherings. 
In their remaining group matches Bangladesh lost to Sri Lanka and defeated Bermuda, which was enough to secure qualification for the second round while India was knocked out. Bangladesh's only victory in the Super 8s was against South Africa, losing to everyone else including Ireland, a team mostly made up of amateur cricketers. In April 2007, after four years as coach Whatmore chose not to extend his contract, but agreed to remain in charge until the end of May, to allow the BCB to find and appoint his successor and also to guide the side through the two tests and three Otis at home against India. After Bangladesh had helped knock India out of the tournament, the series was seen as an opportunity for India to exact revenge. India won the three-match ODI series 2-0, one being washed out. Bangladesh had not played test cricket since April 2006. The first test was shortened due to rain and drawn, but India won the second by their largest ever margin by an innings and 239 runs. In the aftermath Habibul Bashar, who had previously resigned as ODI captain, was replaced as captain by 22-year-old Muhammad Ashraful in all forms of the game. Mashraf Mortaza was appointed vice-captain. Topic. Under Sean Williams 2007. BCB appointed their under-19 coach Sean Williams as the Bangladesh's interim coach, until they find Watmore's long-term successor. Ashraful's first series in charge was a tour of Sri Lanka in June and July. Bangladesh suffered heavy defeats in each of the three tests, losing by an innings on every occasion, and three Otis. In the first innings of the second test, Bangladesh was bundled out for their lowest total 62. Prior to the World T20, Bangladesh played two T20s in Kenya. Here, they enjoyed victory over Kenya, but lost to Pakistan. South Africa hosted the 2007 ICC World 2020 in September. Bangladesh defeated the West Indies at the group stage to progress to the Super 8 stage of the tournament. However, it was the only match they won in the tournament, losing next four matches. During the Super 8 match against Bangladesh, Australian fast bowler Brett Lee took the first ever 2020 international T20I hat-trick. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Under Jamie Siddons 2007 to 2011. In late October, BCB appointed Jamie Siddons, an Australian cricketer, as their head coach. Towards the end of 2007, Bangladesh toured New Zealand. They were soundly beaten 3-0 in the one-dayers. Bangladesh started the new year with the test leg of the tour. These matches were also one-sided, where Bangladesh lost the series 2-0. A touring South Africa clean swept Bangladesh across formats in February to March 2008. The tour included two tests and three Otis. However, in the first test, Bangladesh secured a first innings lead of 22 runs after restricting South Africa for 170. Bangladesh then defeated non-test playing Ireland 3-0 in an ODI series at home in the same month, ending a run of 14 losses. Pakistan hosted Bangladesh for five Otis and a T20I in April. It was a miserable tour for Bangladesh where they lost all games Bangladesh lost both first round games against Pakistan and India at a triangular ODI tournament held in Bangladesh in June at the 2008 Asia Cup held in Pakistan Bangladesh won their first group stage game against associate UAE even though they lost to Sri Lanka in the next group stage match Bangladesh reached the super 4 stage before losing the next 3 games against India Sri Lanka and Pakistan they were later got whitewashed 0 to 3 in the Otis during their tour to Australia in August September in October New Zealand toured Bangladesh for 3 Otis and 2 tests Shortly before the tour 14 Bangladesh players left to play in the Indian Cricket League and were subsequently banned for 10 years Six of the players were centrally contracted, including former captain Habibul Bashar. With a less experienced team than usual and a poor record against New Zealand, Bangladesh was expected to lose heavily. After winning the opening ODI first ever ODI victory over New Zealand, Bangladesh went on to lose series 2-1. New Zealand won the first test by three wickets in what their coach, John Bracewell, described as one of the great character wins. The second test ended up in a rain curtailed draw, sealing the series victory for New Zealand 1-0. But in the process Shakib Al-Hassan emerged as an all-rounder. 
Having previously been selected primarily as a batsman, he went on to take the best bowling figures in an innings for a Bangladesh player, seven wickets for 36 runs, beating the record set by Enamel Hack Jr. three years earlier. In November, Bangladesh toured South Africa. They lost all their matches to South Africa, including the only T20I match, two of the three Otis the third being washed out due to rain and both tests by innings. In December, however, Bangladesh bounced back from the previous lackluster performances by threatening to win the first test match against Sri Lanka at home by chasing down the highest fourth innings total of 513. Though they fell 107 runs short, their performances were praised. But in the second test match of this home series in January, Bangladesh succumbed to a 465 runs defeat, conceding the series 2-0 to Sri Lanka. Then Zimbabwe joined the hosts and the Lankan team for a tri-series ODI tournament, which proved to be more evenly matched than was expected. In the first match, Zimbabwe defeated Bangladesh by an excellent performance, but then was defeated by Sri Lanka by a huge margin, leaving Bangladesh needing to win with a bonus point against the Lankans in the last group match to go through to the finals to join the Lankans. In a reduced match due to rain interruptions Bangladesh recorded their second ODI win over Sri Lanka to reach the finals. However at the finals, they were beaten by the Lankans who claimed the series. Later in the same month the three-match ODI series against Zimbabwe at home was won by Bangladesh 2-1. At the 2009 ICC World 2020 held in England, Bangladesh crashed out of the tournament at the group stage after losing both games against India and Associate Ireland. Aftermath of the losses at the global event, the selectors appointed Mashraf Mortaza as the new captain of the team for the tour to the West Indies so that Ashraful could focus on his batting. The two test series was played amidst controversy when a pay dispute between the West Indian players and the West Indies cricket board led a number of West Indian players boycotting the series, which forced the West Indies to select a number of inexperienced players as replacements. Bangladesh went on to win both of the tests, winning the first test by 95 runs and the second by four wickets. In the process they achieved their first ever overseas test series victory. In the ODI series which followed, Bangladesh secured their first ever ODI win against the West Indies at the 14th attempt. Bangladesh won the series 3-0, but lost the only 2020 match. Bangladesh emerged victorious 4-1 and 4-1 in back-to-back five-match ODI series against Zimbabwe away in August and home in October to November. In November, Shakib was named the Wisden Cricketers' Test Player of the Year. In January 2010, Bangladesh hosted a tri-series ODI tournament with India and Sri Lanka. They failed to win a match in four matches and went out of the tournament. That was followed by a two-match test series against India at home, which Bangladesh lost 2-0. During full away tour in February 2010 against New Zealand, Bangladesh lost all matches, only T20I, 3 Otis and only Test. In February to March 2010, England visited Bangladesh to play 3 Otis and 2 Test matches. Bangladesh lost all their Otis and Tests in the series. In May, Bangladesh took part in the 2010 World 2020. They lost all their matches at group stage against Pakistan and Australia and failed to progress to the Super 8 stage. In May and June, Bangladesh played two test matches against England away, losing both, although Tamim Iqbal scored two centuries in the series. Between the tests and Otis against England, Bangladesh took part in the 2010 Asia Cup during June, but lost all their matches versus India, Sri Lanka and Pakistan. In the ODI series, England comfortably won the first match. However, in the second match at Bristol, Bangladesh beat England for the first time in international cricket England were the only test-playing nation yet to be beaten by Bangladesh, bowling England out in the final over to win by five runs. However England won the third ODI at Birmingham and sealed the series 2-1. Bangladesh extended this tour in Europe to play two-match Otis series against Ireland. The series was shared 1-1. The one-off ODI against Scotland was abandoned due to heavy rains. Later Netherlands won the last one-off ODI of the tour. In October New Zealand went to Bangladesh for five Otis. Mortaza suffered an injury in the first match and Shakib took over as captain. Under his leadership Bangladesh won the series 4-0 second ODI was abandoned due to rain, securing their first series victory against a full-strength ICC full-member nation, although unable to play against New Zealand due to injury, while the series was in progress Tamim Iqbal was named the Wisden Cricketers' 
Test Player of the Year in December Bangladesh hosted Zimbabwe for five Otis. After losing the opening match, Bangladesh went on to win the next three complete matches, with fourth ODI called off due to rain, to beat Zimbabwe 3-1. In February and March 2011, Bangladesh co-hosted the World Cup with India and Sri Lanka. Bangladesh lost the tournament opener against India, before the win against Ireland. The next match was won by West Indies after dismissing Bangladesh for 58 runs, the team's lowest score in Otis and a record low for a full member at the World Cup. The West Indies and Bangladesh team buses were stoned as they left the ground, and so was Shakib's house. Bangladesh later defeated England, and the Netherlands, making their final match of the group stage a must-win contest. Against South Africa, Bangladesh succumbed to their second largest defeat in Otis and became the first full member team to be bowled out for under 100 twice in World Cups, thereby failing to progress to the knockout stage of the tournament. Then Australia complete a 3 0 sweep in Otis against Bangladesh when they visited the country in April, middle of the Australian visit. BCB confirmed that Siddons unlikely to win a contract extension from the moment his team failed to meet lofty home expectations during the 2011 World Cup. Under his mentorship, Bangladesh won two tests in 19, 31 Otis in 84. They did not win any T20s in eight during this period. First ever overseas test series victory, first ever test match and series victories over West Indies, first ever ODI wins against New Zealand, West Indies and England, clean sweeps in Otis against West Indies away and New Zealand home, reaching the final of a triangular tournament where all participants are ICC full members, consistent wins in bilateral ODI series against Zimbabwe four were the highlights for Siddons as the Bangladesh head coach. During his three-and-a-half-year tenure as coach Siddons introduced a full coaching staff for the first time, including coaches for bowling, strength and conditioning, and fielding. Under Siddons Bangladesh's reliance on spin bowlers continued, partly because pitches in the country encourage spin bowlers, and frequently only two seam bowlers were used in a match. Siddons was credited with helping the team improve mentally. Under Stuart Law 2011-2012 A lengthy hunt for a head coach, followed Siddons' exit encountering the names of Vincent Barnes and Stuart Law as possible appointees. Law, who at the time was the interim head coach of Sri Lanka following Trevor Bayliss' departure, was named Bangladesh's new head coach starting from July 1, 2011. Bangladesh toured Zimbabwe in August 2011 for a one-off test and five Otis. The test marked Zimbabwe's return to the longest format of the game, after a self-imposed withdrawal in January 2006 as the sport in the country was in a state of disarray. Bangladesh lost the match by 130 runs. Though they were expected to do well with the test and the Otis, Bangladesh lost the subsequent one-day series 3-2. In the aftermath of the series, Captain Shakib Al Hassan and Vice Captain Tamim Iqbal were sacked from their leadership roles, with a BCB representative citing their poor leadership. Later that month, wicket keeper Mushfakur Rahim was named captain, with all rounder Mahmudullah as his deputy. Bangladesh struggles at international level have been epitomized by the ineffectiveness of their fast bowlers. Between January 2010 and August 2011, they took 37 wickets in eight tests at an average of 67.67, the worst out of the nine teams playing regular test cricket in this period. Though Bangladesh won Rahim's first match in charge, the only T20I against West Indies at home in October, the team lost the subsequent ODI series 2-1 and the two-match test series 1-0. Pakistan toured in December, and during the first of three Otis Bangladesh were dismissed for their 13th score of of less than 100 in the format, overtaking Zimbabwe's record of 12 times. Bangladesh got whitewashed comprehensively across formats, 0-1 T20I, 0-3 Otis and 0-2 Tests. In March Bangladesh hosted in the 2012 Asia Cup featuring India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. Bangladesh entered the tournament with just two wins from 29 Asia Cup matches. Victories against India and Sri Lanka saw Bangladesh face Pakistan in the final, only the second time the team had reached the final of a multinational competition. Though Pakistan won the final by two runs, Bangladesh had exceeded expectations. During the tournament, Tamim Iqbal became the first Bangladeshi player to score four consecutive fifties in Otis. 
Shakib Al Hassan was named man of the series after contributing with both the bat and the ball, making 237 runs and taking six wickets respectively. The following month, Law announced he would be stepping down as coach in June when his contract was due to expire for personal reasons. Bangladesh had not won any tests in five under Law. Further, they only won five Otis in 15 and one T20I in two during this period. Reaching the finals of Asia Cup 2012 was the pinnacle of Law's tenure as Bangladesh coach. Topic: <laughs> Under Richard Pibus 2012. In May 2012 Bangladesh have appointed England-born Richard Pibus as their new head coach for two years, replacing Stuart Law who stepped down from the post in April. During Bangladesh tour of Ireland and Netherlands in July, they clean-swept the three-match T20I series against Ireland, lost a T20I against Scotland and shared the two-match T20I series against Netherlands 1-1. Bangladesh crashed out of the 2012 ICC World 2020 by losing to New Zealand and Pakistan in the first round, after only four months at the helm, Pibus notified the BCB of his unwillingness to continue due to issues with his contract and interference from administration. Under him Bangladesh won four T20As in eight. <laughs> Under Shane Jurgensen The team's bowling coach and Australian Shane Jurgensen was appointed as the interim Bangladesh coach for the series against West Indies at home in November to December 2012. The home side lost the two tests, but won the ODI series 3 2, before losing the only T20I. In February 2013, BCB announced that Jurgensen will continue as Bangladesh's head coach for the rest of the year. Bangladesh toured Sri Lanka in March 2013 for a full series. In the first test at Gale Mushfakur Rahim scored the first double century for Bangladesh in test cricket, and Mohamed Ashraful chipped in with a handy 190. They were able to draw the first test against Sri Lanka, the first time ever against the island nation. Sri Lanka won the second test by seven wickets and the two-match test series 1-0. The three-match ODI series was shared 1-1 since the second ODI being washed out. Bangladesh lost the only T20I2, then they toured Zimbabwe from April to May. Bangladesh lost the first test by 335 runs, which marked the Zimbabwe's biggest win. Later they won the second test by 173 runs to share the series with Zimbabwe 1-1. Bangladesh lost the ODI series 1-2 before sharing the T20I series 1-1. Later in October to November 2013, Bangladesh achieved a new feat sharing the two match test series 0-0 at home soil against New Zealand, the first ever against the country. This was followed by 3-0 series whitewash win for Bangladesh in Otis, before losing the only T20I. Sri Lanka toured Bangladesh for full series from January to February 2014. Bangladesh slipped to their fourth heaviest defeat in their test history after losing the first test by an innings and 248 runs. The second test was a high-scoring draw and Bangladesh lost the series 0-1. Later they got whitewashed in the T20I and the ODI series. That was followed up by a series of defeats against Asian cricketing nations India, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Sri Lanka at the league stage of 2014 Asia Cup conducted on their home soil and Bangladesh finished at the bottom of the table. Associate Afghanistan's win against Bangladesh was their first ODI victory against a test-playing nation. Bangladesh ended their 11-match win-less run in 2014 defeating two associates Afghanistan and Nepal in consecutive T20s at the 2014 ICC World 2020 group stage. Their loss to another associate, Hong Kong, did not prevent them reaching the Super 10 stage. However at the Super 10 stage, Bangladesh lost all 0 to 4 their matches against West Indies, India, Pakistan and Australia. The coach resigned from his position less than a month after the World T20, where the team won just 2 out of 7 matches. Under Jurgensen, Bangladesh won 1 test in 10, 8 Otis in 21 and 3 T20As in 14. 
Highlights of his tenure were the test win after four years against Zimbabwe, shared two test series against New Zealand at home, 3-0 ODI clean sweep against New Zealand at home and securing two draws in tests against Sri Lanka away and home. Topic under Chandika Hathorasinga 2014 the BCB appointed Chandika Hathorasinga, a former Sri Lanka batsman, as Bangladesh's head coach for a two-year period. The first series under the new coach was against India at home. Bangladesh lost the first and second ODI comprehensively and the third was washed out and lost the series 2-0. Bangladesh toured West Indies for a full series in August. West Indies beat Bangladesh 3-0 in the ODI series extending Bangladesh's win-less ODI run for 13 matches. In the second ODI Bangladesh was bundled out for 70 which is the third lowest total for Bangladesh. Bangladesh lost the match by 177 runs. Only the T20I match was abandoned. Further, West Indies White washed Bangladesh in the Test Series 2-0, defeating Bangladesh by 10 wickets in the first test and by 296 runs in the second test respectively. Bangladesh finally emerged victorious during the Zimbabwe tour in Bangladesh whitewashing the visitors 3-0 during the Test Series. Bangladesh claimed number 9 ranking with the series victory pushing Zimbabwe to number 10. In the ODI series, Bangladesh whitewashed Zimbabwe 5-0. At the turn of the new year, Bangladeshi all-rounder Shakib Al-Hassan emerged as the number one all-rounder in all formats of the game. This was the first time ever that any player achieved such a feat. After the ICC introduced ranking system, during the group stage of the 2015 Cricket World Cup, Bangladesh defeated Afghanistan in their first game, and their next match against Australia was washed out. They lost their next game to Sri Lanka by 92 runs. Following that, they achieved their highest successful run chase in an ODI, when they chased down Scotland's 318, and later qualified for the second quarterfinal in the 2015 World Cup, by defeating England. At the second quarterfinal, India comprehensively defeated Bangladesh by 109 runs, knocking them out of the 2015 World Cup. After a successful World Cup campaign by reaching the quarter-final for the first time ever, the whole team was given a grand reception at the airport on March 22. In April to May 2015 Pakistan was in Bangladesh for a full series. Bangladesh won the ODI Series 3-0 recording their first series victory over Pakistanis. The only T20I was also won by Bangladesh. However Pakistan claimed the Test Series victory 1-0, by drawing the first test and winning the second test by 328 runs. A full-strength Indian team arrived in Bangladesh in June 2015, for an one-off test and three Otis, where the Indians were expected to win comfortably. During the test, the Indian team was too strong for Bangladesh where they were enforced to follow on. But the heavy rain interruptions denied a decisive result only 184.2 overs were played. However excellent performances by the batsman and ODI debutante bowler Mustafizur Rahman had the tables turned over as Bangladesh convincingly won the first two Otis and for the first time, won a bilateral series against India by a margin of 2-1. During July 2015 South Africa visited Bangladesh for two T20s, three Otis and two tests. South Africa whitewashed Bangladesh in the T20I series 2-0 and took the lead of ODI series winning the first match. However Bangladesh came back strongly and completely dominated South Africa in the following two matches, showing excellent performance in all three departments where none of the team in any match could reach 200 runs in an innings in the whole ODI series, to win the series by a margin of 2-1, which marked the first ever series win against South Africa. Two match test series was shared 0 to 0 after heavy monsoon rains curtailed both games played 221 and 88.1 overs respectively. Strong performances shown by Bangladesh in Otis since the ICC Cricket World Cup 2015, winning ODI series against Pakistan, India and South Africa, helped it jump from 9th to 7th in the ODI team rankings. Since they were ranked number 7 in Otis on 30 September 2015 which was the cutoff date, they have qualified for the 2017 ICC Champions Trophy replacing West Indies. In November 2015, the Zimbabwean cricket team toured in Bangladesh. The tour consisted of three one-day internationals Otis, two 2020 internationals T20s. 
Bangladesh won the ODI Series 3–0 and shared the T20I Series 1–1, Zimbabwe toured Bangladesh for another T20I Series consisting of four games in January 2016. Again the series was shared 2–2, the Golden Run continued to Bangladesh when they became runner-up of 2016 Asia Cup, played on home soil. They lost the first match at group stage to India. Then they won against UAE, Sri Lanka reigning World T20 champions and Asian champions and Pakistan consecutively to reach the Asia Cup final for the second time. However they were again comprehensively beaten by India in the final, however Bangladesh did not have a significant success during the 2016 ICC World 2020 held in India in March to April 2016. Wins against two associates Netherlands and Oman and the washed-out game against another associate Ireland at the group stage saw them reach the Super 10. They returned home losing all four games at the Super 10 stage against full members Pakistan, Australia, India and New Zealand. Bangladesh emerged victorious in another home ODI series 2-1 against Afghanistan in Sept to October 2016. This was followed by the England tour of Bangladesh, where Bangladesh lost the ODI leg by 2-1. But they secured a historic test win by 108 runs against England, their first win in 10 attempts, and sharing the two-match test series 1-1, after losing the first test narrowly by 22 runs. Bangladesh toured New Zealand for a complete series in December 2016. Bangladesh started the tour with a 3-0 whitewash defeat in ODI series and the dawn of New Year 2017 saw a similar 3-0 whitewash defeat in T20I series. With that, Bangladesh is yet to win a T20I against New Zealand. Further, Bangladesh lost the Test Series 2-0. However they broke the 123 years old record for the highest first innings total in tests to lose during the first test versus New Zealand by scoring 595 eighths deck. They finished the tour losing all the games 8-0. Then Bangladesh toured India in February 2017 for the historical first ever test match between two countries on Indian soil. India won the game comprehensively by 208 runs, having declared in both innings. The next assignment for Bangladesh was another full away tour in Sri Lanka in March to April 2017. Bangladesh were comprehensively beaten by 259 runs in the first test. However they were able draw the Test Series 1-1, by winning the second test by four wicket. That meant Bangladesh won their 100th Test match becoming one of the four teams to achieve that feat. Further this was the first ever Test match victory for Bangladesh against Sri Lanka. Bangladesh led the ODI series after two games 1-0, since winning the first ODI by 90 runs and the second ODI being washed away by rain. However Sri Lanka won the third ODI by 70 runs, leveling the ODI series 1-1. The T20I series was also shared 1-1. In May 2017, Bangladesh finished second at the Ireland Tri-Nation ODI series held in Ireland, winning two versus New Zealand and Ireland, losing one versus New Zealand and one washed out versus Ireland games. Bangladesh started the 2017 ICC Champions Trophy campaign with a defeat in the series opener against England. However a washout against Australia and a win helped them to reach the semi-finals for the first time ever in Bangladesh cricket history. Finally they were knocked out of the tournament after a huge loss to India by nine wickets in the semi-finals. Australia toured Bangladesh in August-September 2017 for a two-match test series. Host Bangladesh registered their first ever test match win over Australia when they defeated the touring team by 20 runs during the first test. However Bangladesh was unable to secure the series victory, since Australia won the second test by seven wickets and the series was shared 1-1. In September to October 2017 Bangladesh toured South Africa to play two tests, three Otis and two T20 is where Bangladesh was whitewashed 0-7 across formats. Team South Africa was too strong for Bangladesh and these games were extremely one-sided, creating several new team and personal records. Bangladesh lost two tests by 333 runs and by an innings and 254 runs respectively. The latter being the biggest test win ever for South Africa. South Africa won the first ODI by 10 wickets which registered the highest target 279 chased down without losing a wicket in Otis. In last two Otis Bangladesh lost comprehensively by 104 and by 200 runs. Later Bangladesh also lost the two T20s by 20 runs and 83 runs. 
During the second T20I David Miller scored the fastest ever T20I century. However, during the middle of this tour Bangladesh was qualified for the 2019 Cricket World Cup since they were at number 7 of ICC ODI rankings by the 30th of September 2017 cutoff date. On November 9, 2017, BCB President Nazmul Hassan announced that Hathorasinga submitted resignation from the post of Bangladesh head coach during the team's tour of South Africa. During his tenure, Bangladesh won six tests in 21, 25 Otis in 52 and 10 T20s in 29 which is arguably the most successful era of Bangladesh cricket. Further, under his wings Bangladesh reached quarter-finals of 2015 Cricket World Cup, qualified and later reached semi-finals of 2017 ICC Champions Trophy, qualified for 2019 Cricket World Cup, became runner-up of 2016 Asia Cup, defeated India, Pakistan and South Africa in home bilateral series, climbed up to number 6 of ODI rankings, registered their first-ever test wins against England, Sri Lanka and Australia. He was instrumental in Bangladesh beginning to actively picking more pace bowlers in their attack. Shakib Al Hassan has replaced Mushfikur Rahim as Bangladesh's test captain, starting with the upcoming Sri Lanka tour in January 2018. Mamudullah will take over the vice captaincy from Tamim Iqbal while the BCB is yet to announce a new coach. Topic: <laughs> Under Richard Halsall 2018. BCB chairman announced that their assistant coach Richard Halsall, will be in charge of coaching the side ahead of the Tri-Nation ODI series held in January 2018 at home. Convincing wins against low-ranked opponents, Sri Lanka and Zimbabwe, in the first three group games saw Bangladesh reach the finals. Bangladesh recorded their biggest win in ODI cricket won by 163 runs against Sri Lanka during the process. However Bangladesh were bowled out for 82 which was their ninth lowest ODI total and lost by 10 wickets in the last group game against Sri Lanka. They met Sri Lanka in the finals and lost the match by 79 runs, extending their win less run in tournament finals. The first test against Sri Lanka was a high scoring draw. Later, Bangladesh lost the second test by 215 runs inside three days, conceding the test series 1-0. Bangladesh also lost the T20I series 3 to 0. Topic: Under Courtney Walsh 2018. Courtney Walsh acted as the interim coach for 2018 Nidea's Trophy, a triangular T20I series held in Sri Lanka in March. Bangladesh lost the tournament final against India after reaching their defeating Sri Lanka twice in group matches on the 1st of May. Bangladesh broke into the top 8 of the test rankings for the first time ever as a result of the ICC's annual update to the rankings. Bangladesh got whitewashed in a three-match T20I series against Afghanistan in India, losing their matches by 45 runs, by 6 wickets and by 1 run respectively. This recorded Bangladesh's first ever T20I match loss and T20I series loss against Afghans as well. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Under Steve Rhodes 2018 present. BCB appointed former England wicketkeeper Steve Rhodes the Bangladesh head coach for all three formats in early March ahead of West Indies tour. Bangladesh hit an all-time low when they were dismissed for 43, their lowest score in tests during the first test against West Indies at North Sound and eventually lost the test by an innings and 219 runs. Later Bangladesh lost the second test by 166 runs and lost the series 2-0. Later they performed well in limited overs formats and eventually ended up the tour by winning the three-match ODI and T20I series by 2-1 margin each. Bangladesh started their Asia Cup 2018 campaign with a win over Sri Lanka by 137 runs, which was their biggest win, by runs in Otis away from home. Even though they faced a heavy loss in their next match at group stage against Afghanistan, lost by 136 runs, Bangladesh's biggest loss, by runs in Otis against Afghanistan, they have progressed to the Super 4 stage. Bangladesh lost to India by 7 wickets, narrowly won against Afghanistan by 3 runs and defeated Pakistan by 37 runs at the Super 4 stage to reach the final of the Asia Cup. 
At the final, they have lost to India by three wickets, extending their win-less record in tournament finals. In October to November, Bangladesh hosted a three-match ODI and two-match test series against Zimbabwe. Bangladesh won the ODI series 3-0 while they drew the test series 1-1, losing the first test of the series at Silhet which was the inaugural test of the venue. West Indies toured Bangladesh for a full series in November to December. Bangladesh won the two-match test series 2-0. By defeating West Indies in the second test by an innings and 184 runs, Bangladesh recorded their first ever innings victory in test cricket. Bangladesh also won the three-match ODI series by 2-1 margin. <laughs> <laughs> Governing body The Bangladesh Cricket Board BCB is the governing body for the Bangladeshi cricket team and the sport in the country. The BCB is responsible for maintaining grounds and promoting the sport. It was founded in 1972 as the Bangladesh Cricket Control Board. Its first constitution was drafted in 1976. The board changed its name, dropping control from its title, in January 2007. The president of the BCB is appointed by the government of Bangladesh. The board also controls the team's sponsorship. Since 2003 telecommunications company Graminephone has sponsored the men and women's national teams. Between 2007 and 2011 they invested 151.5 million takas $1 million in developing sport in the country. In 2006 the board established an academy to encourage the development of young and inexperienced players. The board issues central contracts to the national players and issuing match fees. In 2005 players were given about $1,000 for each test they played and $500 per ODI. <laughs> <laughs> International grounds Topic. International contribution by Bangladesh grounds Listed in order of match first used for international match Updated, 15 November 2018 Topic. Fan following Before Bangladesh had even secured test status, cricket fans in the country took the game seriously. When the team lost an ODI against Kenya in March 1999, several hundred fans protested outside the offices of the Bangladesh Cricket Board (BCB). On learning of Bangladesh's promotion to test status, thousands of people celebrated on the streets. Then Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina remarked that, "I can't express my joy in words at this happiest hour of the nation." At the time cricket was the second most popular sport in the country behind football. When Bangladesh began its first test match on 10 November 2000 at Bangabandhu National Stadium in Dhaka, the stadium was nearly full on the first day as around 40,000 people watched the team take on India. As the match partly overlapped with the festival of shab e Bharat, numbers attending declined as the match progressed. In 2011, Bangladeshi politician Saber Hossein Chowdhury opined that in Bangladesh cricket is not simply a game, it is a symbol of national unity." And in the words of A.H.M. Mostofa Kamal, president of the BCB in 2011, "...people of Bangladesh take cricket religiously." The people of Bangladesh are referred as, "...the most passionate cricket fans." Among the cricket world. When Bangladesh are victorious, the fans sometimes take to the streets in celebration. When Bangladesh defeated South Africa in the 2007 World Cup, thousands of people celebrated into the night on the streets of Dhaka despite there being a ban on public gatherings at the time. Although fans are jubilant in victory, they can also be vocal in defeat. When Bangladesh lost to England in an ODI in November 2003, the then-captain Khalid Mahmood was booed off the field. During the 2011 World Cup, Bangladesh succumbed to a record defeat against West Indies, registering the team's lowest score in Otis. The buses of both teams were stoned Bangladesh's intentionally, West Indies mistakenly, as was Shakib Al Hassan's house. Topic: <laughs> Team colors. 
In Test cricket, Bangladesh wears cricket whites, with the BCB logo on the left chest and the Prawn Frutu logo on the right chest. Fielders wear a dark green cap or a white wide brim sunhat. The helmets are also dark green. In limited overs cricket, Bangladesh wears a green uniform with red being the secondary color and the BCB logo on chest and the Pram Frutu logo on the center and Bangladesh written underneath in red letters, with the fielders wearing a green baseball cap with red accents or a green wide brimmed hat. During ICC tournaments, the Pran Frutu logo is placed on the left sleeve. In the 1999 Cricket World Cup, Bangladesh wore an olive green uniform with yellow accents and an horizontal stripe with tiger stripe motif on the chest. Unilever Bangladesh on 6 September 2018 became the national cricket team, women cricket team, under-19 team sponsor for the period of 2018-2020. Players <laughs> 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 Topic: Current squad. BCB announced a squad of 32 players from 2018. They will be regular player for the year. In April 2018, BCB took a new decision to decrease players from central contract and thus removed six player from contract. Keith BCB awards central contracts to its players. Its pay graded according to the importance of the player. Players' salaries are as follows. Grade A plus, 48 lakh takas $62,000 per annum Grade A, 36 lakh takas $46,000 per annum Grade B, 24 lakh takas $31,000 per annum Grade C, 18 lakh takas $23,000 per annum Grade D, 12 lakh takas $15,000 per annum In addition to this, the captain will earn a responsibility bonus of 20,000 takas $260 per match. $1 Topic. AD taka, 1 million 10 lakh Topic. Coaching staff Head coach, Steve Rhodes Fielding coach, Ryan Cook batting coach, Neil McKenzie limited format only, fast bowling coach, Courtney Walsh spin bowling coach, Sunil Joshity management consultant, Gary Kirsten strength and conditioning coach, Mario Villavarian team physiotherapist, Thihan Chandramoan team psychologist, Ali Khan team physician, Dr. Debasish Roy Chowdhury team manager, Khalid Mahmoud media manager, Rob Imam performance analyst, Nasir Ahmed. Topic: Tournament history. A red box around the year indicates tournaments played within Bangladesh. Topic: ICC World Cup. Topic ICC World Twenty Twenty Topic ICC Champions Trophy Known as the ICC Knockout in nineteen ninety eight and two thousand Topic Asia Cup Topic Asian Games Topic World Cup Qualifier Known as the ICC Trophy from nineteen seventy nine to two thousand five Topic Asian Test Championship Topic Austral Asia Cup Topic Commonwealth Games Topic ACC Trophy
Topic: Nidea's Trophy. Topic: Records. International match summary: Bangladesh. Last updated the 22nd of December 2018. Topic: Test matches. Highest team total: 638 v Sri Lanka, 8 to 12 March 2013 at Gale. Highest individual score: 219 asterisk Mushfakir Rahim v Zimbabwe, the 12th of November 2018 at Dhaka. Most individual runs in a match: 281 Maminul Haq, 176 and 105 v Sri Lanka, 2018 at Chittagong. Best individual bowling figures in an innings: 8:39, Tajul Islam v Zimbabwe, 25 to 27 October 2014 at Dhaka. Best individual bowling figures in a match: 12:117, Mahedi Hassan Miraz, 7:59 and 5:58 v West Indies, the 30th of November to the 2nd of December 2018 at Dhaka. Test record versus other nations. Players listed in bold are still playing. Records complete to test number 2331. Last updated the 2nd of December 2018. Topic: One Day Internationals. Highest team total: 329 sixths v Pakistan, the 17th of April 2015 at Dhaka. Highest individual score: 154. Tamim Iqbal v Zimbabwe, the 16th of August 2009 at Bulawayo. Best individual bowling figures: 626. Mashraf Mortaza v Kenya, the 15th of August 2006 at Nairobi, Jamkana, and Rubel Hossein v New Zealand, the 29th of October 2013 at Dhaka. ODI record versus other nations. Players listed in bold are still playing. Records complete to ODI number 4073. Last updated the 14th of December 2018. Topic: 2020 Internationals. Highest team total: 215 fifths v Sri Lanka, the 10th of March 2018 at Colombo. Highest individual score: 103 not out. Tamim Iqbal v Oman, the 13th of March 2016 at Dharamsala. Best individual bowling figures: 5/13. Elias Sunny v Ireland, the 18th of July 2012 at Belfast. T20I record versus other nations. Players listed in bold are still playing. Records complete to T20I number 717. Last updated the 22nd of December 2018. Topic World Records Aminal Islam became world's third cricketer to score his maiden century on country's inaugural test in 2000 against India. He achieved this feat after Charles Bannerman Australia and Dave Houghton Zimbabwe while Irish cricketer Kevin O'Brien was the latest and only fourth member to join this elite club. In 2005 against Zimbabwe, Enamel Hack Jr. became the youngest bowler ever to take a 10-wicket haul in test at the age of 18 years 40 days. Mohamed Ashraful holds the record for the youngest cricketer to make a test century. He was 17 years and 61 days old when he made 114 against Sri Lanka at Colombo on 8 September 2001. During his test debut, in 2014, Shakib Al Hassan became only third cricketer after Ian Botham England and Imran Khan Pakistan to score a century and to pick up 10 wickets in same test. Mashraf Mortaza was the leading wicket taker in Otis in 2006, with 49 wickets in 27 matches. On the 21st of November 2012, Abul Hassan became only the second Test cricketer in history to make a century at number 10 on debut against the West Indies at Kulna. On the 13th of October 2013, against New Zealand at Chittagong, Sohag Ghazi became the first ever cricketer to score a century and take a hat trick in the same Test match. Tajul Islam became the first ever bowler to take a 
hat-trick on debut in an ODI against Zimbabwe at Dhaka on 1 December 2014, Shakib Al-Hassan became the first player in history to hold the number one positions in all three formats of cricket, in the all-rounder category on 12 January 2015, Mustafizur Rahman became the first ever cricketer to take 11 wickets in his first two Otis when he took 5 50ths against India on 18 June 2015 and then 6 43rds against the same team three days later. Both matches were played at Dhaka. Until 25 July 2015, Elias Sunny was the only player to be nominated as the man of the match in two formats of the international cricket as a debutante. He made it in Test v West Indies in 2011 and T20I v Ireland in 2012. Mustafizur Rahman, being only second to Elias Sunny, did it in ODI v India and in Test v South Africa both in 2015, on 7 June 2018 in the third T20I against Afghanistan by taking the wicket of Najibullah Zadran. Shakib Al-Hassan became the quickest all-rounder to achieve the double of 10,000 runs and 500 wickets in 302 international matches and became only third cricketer to do so following Jacques Callis and Shahid Afridi, highest first innings total in Tests when losing the match 595 eighths deck versus New Zealand in 2017. Bangladesh has taken 16 years and 12 days, the least amount of time among all 10 test playing countries, to reach the landmark figure of playing 100 tests, most consecutive test defeats 21, 2001 to 2004, most consecutive test series defeats 16, 2001, 2004, 05, most consecutive ODI defeats 23, 1999 to 2000. 2, most consecutive Otis without victory 47 1999 to 2003 only test side which have lost the first ODI they have played against five non-test sides Canada 2003 Kenya 2003 Ireland 2007 Netherlands 2010 and Afghanistan 2014 Bangladesh is the only test team having not been involved in any tied international matches topic See also Bangladesh Premier League Bangladesh National Women's Cricket Team List of Bangladesh National Cricket Captains List of Bangladesh Test Cricket Centurions <laughs>